Hero Xantos. Um, this is, will be my uh, humble video of even this patch system and show you how to, to use this system and configure it. Uh, first, I have to a little apologize because English is not my mother tongue and I uh, hope that you will uh, be able to understand exactly what, what I can say. Uh, so first, let's go on the Hyperspin website and see uh, how to download it. So uh, within the threads, um, in the third party applications, we'll see even this patch system thread here. So let's go to it. Um, basically, what is the EDS and what is it all about? Well, EDS, is even this patch system, is about being able to launch more than one application on even this uh, on Hyperspin. So when Hyperspin is um, creating events um, like uh, game select, game stop, uh, list change, uh, game start, um, these these events can launch only one application, uh, which is led Blinky, um, which left the uh, users with the sad situation where they cannot launch Hyperspin Helper, Lead Blinky, Hypermarkey, Hyperspeech, uh, name them, uh, within asynchronous uh, uh, or load them at all together. So they only stuck with one. So Hyper, uh, even these patch systems give you the possibility to launch more than one application at a time asynchronously. So uh, if you want to download EDS first release version, which is still a bit of version and uh, uh, evaluation version. So it may contain bugs or improvement may come soon also if uh, improvement has to be uh, brought up soon. So if you go on the download website, which is uh, um, my personal OneDrive uh, share place. So um, feel free to download uh, EDS initial beta release version full package. This is include everything that you need to test it and configure it. And it also includes the instruction or user guide with it. Uh, there's also codes, uh, source code for uh, developers if they wish to include a name pipe, solu name pipe solution within their application to works with compatible with EDS, and compatibility with EDS. So the first thing you will, once download, you will, you will, you will see it's these files here. So there's a couple of files uh, in order to make the application work. Um, the class library is the main engine, so it's a DLL. Uh, it, it's used by the, uh, the uh, EDS launch model and also the Hyperspin integrator. Um, to note, the launch model, it, this is the one that has to be renamed uh, Lead Blinky within Hyperspin. So how you rename it? Well, you just rename it Lead Blinky for sure, and you go within uh, Hyperspin, HyperHQ, and within HyperHQ, there's a placeholder where you can specify the folder. Um, so the folder, here is the path to Lead Blinky. Well, instead of going a path, doing the path to Lead Blinky, you give uh, the path of the EDS, even this patch systems, and you en enable lead blinky. That, will, that should work fine um, here. Uh, so once done, uh, what you have to do is to configure uh, even this patch system, and we'll see in a second how to configure it. So the events, Hyperspin even integrator is the one that the application you need to load to configure uh, EDS. This won't be launched by Hyperspin, which will be launched by Hyperspin. As said, it will be the uh, Lendly key uh, model. So this is the main GUI of even this patch systems. What do you see here is the simulated message that may come from Hyperspin, and this is your list of conf configure application. Uh, I never tried Lead Blinky since I don't have Lead Blinky on my machine, so feel free to send me your the, LED, the proper Lead Blinky configuration that I can share with uh, the community, or you can even sh share it yourself with the community. I can also include it into the default. Um, 
configure systems. So uh, you can send me that list and I will be happy to uh, share it for you guys and include it as in the default EDS uh, for every system. So let's try first to s give you a good grasp of how it works. I have uh, some an application example uh, which called pipe server test. So within pipe server test, that will give you a good grasp all of all how this works. So one event that is very could be very popular, it will be the from my perspective is the uh, the event nine, which is game select. Each time you select a game, you may want to change your marquee, right? So let's try old timer Galaga here on game select. We didn't maim. Let's see how it works. So first, what you you will see here it's the the list of conf possible configuration. So the first is the application where we point. So within the this here, you just choose the uh, the pipe server that you want to launch on events. And the IPC methods or technology that you want to use. Here we want to use pipe uh, I invite you to see the documentation to see what's, uh, what's are the difference between these three here or these two here. Uh, pipe CLI, it's a combination of CLI and pipes all together. So basically there's two core technologies here. Um, I'm open-minded to add other technology if you feel that other technologies or communication technologies should be uh, added into the system. Um, you can send me an explanation and I will consider it for sure. Um, so right now the two technologies are IPCs, uh, which is stands for inter-process communication, uh, kind of a protocol uh, that you can use uh, within our perspin R the CLI, which is the command line instruction, the one that you're most familiar. So you execute an application and you pass parameters to it. Right? The parameters less, it's here. And those parameters belongs to the application that you want to execute. Um, so I invite you to see the uh, developer of this application to see how to use the parameters. Um, it's a good practice to put parameters between quotes. Uh, if you, because it may have spaces into it, so uh, parameters uh, may consider as one parameter instead of two or three, depends on the number of spaces you have within it. Um, also, what do you have? You can disable it, or I think this is could be useful sometimes. Uh, you have your pipe ID. The pipe ID, um, it's a new, this is a new technology and, f and I feel, feel free to consult the documentation to have more explanation to it. But within our key, what the pipe ID is, it's basically the, the configuration file name. So see here, within, within our key, the way you pass parameters, basically this is if it's, this is the, uh, uh, the test, if it's a test mode or non-test mode or edit mode, um, this is the configuration file and this is the two parameter, the game and the system. So pipe ID by default uh, to send the message to it, uh, it's the uh, pipe ID. Uh, it's the, uh, not the pipe ID, but the uh, configuration file name is the pipe ID. Uh, even filter, what, what's even filter? What, this is the events that you want to use to launch the application. Um, only these will serve to launch. So if, if then if you send parameter two, which is the uh, uh, close front end, well, you don't want to launch the application on front end close. So you want include these here. Rather, you will include them into the close filter. So if you have a two here, which is close front end, so if hyperspin send message two, well, this will close hypermarkey definitely, right? So I, f I think that it, this is also good for um, uh, remote application management, which is the our the purpose of even dispatch system is to manage your remote apps, right? So um, hope that it's more clear for you. So let's see one concrete example, which is the uh, our primary not the our primary key, but uh, uh, pipe server test here. So. 
pipe clear, what is it? Is the first thing is if the application is not open, it will open with the clear. And then after then, if it's already open, it will send a message to pipes. So this is a combination of both. So let's open it. So as you can see here, we already passed some information. So the clear message, it, which is passed, which is nine, um, which is uh, game, uh, game select, Galaga, and MAME. It recognized three parameters. No message has been received so far because this is the first call is using the CLI, which is what this is why it's pipe CLI. Um, if then if we s use it a second time, let's try decon for the second time with pipe CLI. If I send, then message is received nine decon message uh, nine decon main. Um, as you see, it didn't close. The application he only received a message because right now he's on listen mode. This is not in with any kind of uh, performance hits. This is a low level message call, um, so that doesn't interfere with your uh, hyperspin or anything. It's, this is a very light application and very light on system resource too. So don't worry, it's much much more lighter than the key itself each time. I'll give you an example soon. So let's launch the the key one. Okay, so this is the CLI. I'll put it on, uh, I'll put it this way. So the CLI on the left side and the uh, pipe CLI on the right side. So let's see both here. Let's change the message for again, maybe uh, Galaga again. And let's let's launch everyone all together, well, both all together. Only two of them are enable right so let's launch them and see what can happen uh, I I recommend you to pay more attention here so let's launch it so what happened here is the the key shut down and open again with the message Galaga so I will launch launch it in two different uh, in the in the, in the cycle to see so see what happened is the right one stay open and the left one close and open always. So this is where it's uh, resource con consuming. So let's change Galaga to give you an example of how, how efficient and powerful it can be. Let's put now uh, 1943 as an example and launch again. So what happened here, uh, as you see, 1943 open, refresh very, very quickly and here the key message uh, refresh much more slower. So let's try again with another one. Let's say Miss Pac-Man. I'm gonna hold timer, sorry about that. <laughs> and I think I don't have to be sorry. We're all very kind of uh, uh, passionate about uh, uh, vintage gaming here uh, and emulation. So let's see again what, what happening, what's happening. So again, as you see, Miss Pac-Man refresh more quickly. And then after, this is the key ones, this is uh, which is the traditional way to do stuff. Let's close everything. Let's do another example, more concrete now, with uh, something more visual, uh, with more visual with, uh, I guess, uh, marquee images and uh, text. So let's close this. And let's disable this here. And let's see with messages. Um, let's try it. So I will launch it first with Miss Pac-Man example. So as you see, the first call is a CLI, so it's a little bit slower. Uh, I have to underline that also my laptop is very slow, plus the recording is occurring on my laptop right now. So um, in the real world, uh, in your machine, uh, it will be much more efficient than that. So what I decide to display here is the uh, digital task t text within uh, our marquee and also a uh, our marquee image on the left. Uh, that was an example for Miss Pacman. So let's do a second call, and the second call should should leverage on the uh, on the pipe message. So let's try uh, B time or burger time, right? So I guess all of you should know that by heart by now. Um, 
So let's launch it and see what happened. So see how quick it is. Burger time very promptly refreshed without closing everything. Just refresh the uh, the uh, uh, the artwork and then load uh, also the um, the text. You can try another example with uh, maybe um, I don't know Galaga. See how it works again. So there you go. So that was quick, and it got refreshed right away. Uh, again, the text it should be smooth usually just because it's recording at the same time. It, it's a it is a very whole laptop. So next video should be how to configure uh, uh, our key. Uh, but just to give you a quick quick grasp of how to configure it, this is pretty straightforward. Um, let's see how to configure. The uh, the marquee. So you go in edit and application preference here, and what you have you have the setup, and you go under art artwork, and artwork gives you this is the where you specify the path. So you click here to specify the path of your artwork, and you, you can have one alternative uh, artwork right now. Um, I've been asked to add more alternatives one. Uh, I'm not really into it. I'll see what I can do in the next coming uh, days or weeks. Uh, so basically, uh, if you right click on the artwork file, you can see you have here fields, or what I can call uh, wildcards, that you can plug in to make it dynamic. So here, as you see, I plug the file name, which is, uh, which is Galaga will replace here the file name, but you can put any things that you like here. Where it you get power is you can put also, uh, for instance, rating. So if you want to show the rating as an image, uh, you can do that also. Um, and I think uh, that should work pretty much here. Uh, you have a slew of other kind of uh, um, possibility. I invite you to read the uh, documentation manual for more explanation. Uh, it's really up to you here to use it this way you, you want. You can even display uh, our teams instead of the image if the image is too low. And I know that artworks can have very, very low um, resolution. So sometimes it's just better to display the uh, our teams. Or if you want to display only teams, uh, feel free to display only teams if you want to. Um, this is easy. You just specify the uh, market style as a team. And again, within your team, you have possibility of some of the, uh, you have possibility or lower, less possibilities, but you have two different fields that you can use. I don't think you need more than that for teams, right? Uh, and I guess that's it. So stay tuned for the uh, our Primark key video that should come soon. And I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or you want to produce your own video, I invite you to do it. And see you next time. Thank you.